Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research. I'm Jen Amos, and this is your Morning Market Alert for Friday, August 19th. The global stock sell-off continues unchecked this morning. The three major U.S. indexes tumbled sharply yesterday, including a more than 5% drop in the Nasdaq composite. Asian investors picked up on the bearish sentiment overnight. South Korea's Korean stocks were the biggest losers, with Seoul's Kospi index slumping more than 6%, and Hong Kong's Hang Seng fell 3%. The losses then came back around to where they started yesterday, in Europe. Those markets are posting steep declines again, including a 3.5% drop in Frankfurt's DAX index, on top of yesterday's 5% plunge. The financial sector is seeing the steepest losses after the Wall Street Journal reported that U.S. regulators are stepping up their scrutiny of European banks' liquidity. Meanwhile, a Swedish regulator reportedly warned banks they should do more to prepare for a funding crisis. Barclays, one of the U.K.'s largest lenders, has fallen nearly 20 percent in just two days. As for the U.S. market, we're likely to see a repeat of yesterday's sell-off. It was prompted by renewed concerns that Europe wasn't doing enough to tackle the sovereign debt crisis. But the negative sentiment was exacerbated by an unexpected plunge in the Philadelphia Fed's index of general business conditions. Investors seem concerned about slowing growth not just in the United States, but around the world. This morning, Deutsche Bank downgraded its growth forecast for China to a 7 percent annual rate. It said the potential for recession in Europe and the United States now outweighs domestic credit tightening as the biggest risk to China's economy. And of course, slowing economic growth means reduced demand for commodities, including oil. That's weighing on the prices of those assets this morning. Right now, light sweet crude is dropping back near $81 a barrel. One commodity not feeling the demand pinch is gold. It's considered the safest of the safe haven investments and investors are flooding into the precious metal like never before. After closing above the $1,800 an ounce mark for the first time ever yesterday, gold is rising even faster today. It's up nearly 50 bucks, trading at around $1,870 an ounce. U.S. Treasuries and the dollar are also usually seen as relatively safe investments, but they seem to be losing some of that appeal today. The dollar is declining against most major currencies and Treasury prices are dropping back, sending the yield on the benchmark 10-year note back above 2.1 percent and the yield on the two-year note above 0.2 percent. On the corporate front, two stocks may grab most of the headlines today, one in the financial sector and one in technology. Bank of America is likely to fall less than some of its competitors amid reports that it will cut 3,500 employees this quarter. The Wall Street Journal and the New York Times also reported that the biggest U.S. bank is working on restructuring plans that will result in several thousand more layoffs, perhaps more than 10,000. Meanwhile, Hewlett-Packard is tumbling 15 percent in the pre-market. After yesterday's closing bell, the technology giant surprised investors by cutting its sales outlook for the full year. HP also missed earnings estimates for the current quarter and said it may spin off its personal computer business. In addition, the company said it's buying British data analytics firm Autonomy. Following that report, Needham and Robert W. Baird downgraded Hewlett-Packard, and Orga and ISI Group cut their price targets on the stock. That's the latest from Weiss Research. We'll be back after the opening bell with all the market reaction.